Hello. Back again. Me and my Valentine's Noon shirt. If ready for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure if my husband will be home by then, but we shall see. All right. Give you a second for, for the butterfly quilt people to come on in. I'm back. Today we're going to be doing section seven and eight. Sorry, it was a little bit longer than I expected for the barn star sampler. That's a big block. We're almost done. I think we've got one more section after this, and we start putting it all together. Whew. I'm tired already. A lot of sewing. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, let's get started. And hopefully somebody will come in soon. Section seven is right here. So like we've been doing, I've already done one side. We need a mirror image. So I'm going to put the next set of blocks right side down. So they'll be right sides together. And that will guarantee that we have a mirror image, a right and a left. There we go. Simple, simple, simple. I'm going to start by sewing these two together. Really nothing to align. So this is a simple one to put together. As long as your thread in your needle stays threaded. This back and forth is exhausting. <laughs> All right, we're going to lay it back down, right side down. Now we've got all of these half square triangles. All right. So all I'm going to do is sew them together two at a time. Oh, wrong one. And I just chain pieced them as much as I can. I always make sure to put them back where they belong so I don't mess up the order because they can be done. I'm going to sew these two together. And then I'm going to sew the final piece on. All right. 
I ironed all of my seams towards up. So basically, I ironed all my seams towards this empty square. It's one thing in this pattern for tulip pink, it doesn't tell you where to iron your seam. So I try wherever possible to iron them where they're less bulky. And I make sure I lay everything down so I can double check if I need the seams to go in a certain direction so I can line up my pieces. There's nothing to line up with this one. So all I'm going to do now is iron, I mean, uh, sew these two small pieces together. And I iron them with this, the, the half square triangles facing up so that I can make sure I do not sew on this side of that X. Because if you sew on this side, your points are going to get cut off. You're going to have funny looking point or missing points. It's hard to do this on an angle, so I don't interfere with the camera. So let's see if I got them. Woohoo! Nope, no missing points. Yay, me. So now I'm going to iron this towards the solid fabric. This section is almost done, which is why you can see I did two sections. We're going to do two this week. And I think we only have one next week. And we can start putting it together. The bigger sections. Start putting the sections together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. One of those days. Oh. Booger. Now, see, this is why you don't get ahead of yourself like I did. Because, did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, for a minute, I thought I'd gotten ahead of myself and sewed it to the wrong side. Yeah. Oof. All I have to do now is sew this one together. And this section is done. And there's nothing special to sew this section together, so I'm not going to bother this hair on you. This way, I can sew it without being on a sakatra angle. <laughs> yes, that's a technical term. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quilt as much as I have made it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I can't wait till the whole thing's together. Ooh. That's it. So that one is done. Now you can see what I mean by mirror image. Okay, this part, not so much, but here is where it's a mirror image. So that's real important because we want a right side and a left side. All right. Uh, 
Uh, wrong camera. Sorry. Let's get the next section. Which is section eight. I think, yeah. Eight. My book is crazy. And it's not ironed because it was pulled up. So bear with me. Oh, I got the hiccups today. All right. Here is our section eight. And again, we're just going to put them down right side together. Missing a piece again. No, again. Hold on. Hold on. There it is. Oops, I forgot to square this one up. Sorry about that. Hey, Fran, how are you? No, you don't need a will for this quote, Fran. What new cutter? You talking about this rotary cutter? They're not necessarily new. I've had them for quite a while. This is, these are the Martelli cutters. And what they do is they help keep my wrist straight and they're more ergonomic for me. Um, so I won't have to go through with carpal tunnel surgery. How are you doing, Fran? Here we go. Uh, so this one, where is my piece of paper? Here we go. They tell you how to put it together. So I'm going to put this set here together first. And then we'll put this together and finally put that part on. So it's just like this. See the dividing lines? I, it's not an ear infection. I don't know what. <clears throat> I went to urgent carry last night after I went to 
the hospital to visit my husband. I had ear in you know an ear infection. Oh, I don't know, about a month ago, and I just got about a month ago got rid of got finished with all the antibiotics, and then yesterday. I started getting shooting pain in this ear, like not in the ear, just on top of the ear, not constant, just sporadically throughout the day. So I thought maybe I needed more antibiotics for my ear infection. No, my ears are fine. What they think it is, is, is I guess what they call a vargus nerve right here. And it can get inflamed like after I had the cold and all that stuff. So it might be swollen a little bit, and they're going to start me on steroid pack. Loads of fun, which I'll get tomorrow. If it's not one thing, it's another. All right, let's start putting this baby together. So I'm going to start by sewing these together. And there's nothing to line up here. We're just going to sew them. And I'm going to sew these two together. Nothing to line up. Just so, so, so. That one is there. And this one is here. So I'm going to iron this one down and this one this way so that we can line these two up. Again, this is not a pattern that tells you how to iron, which side to iron your seams to. So by laying it down, um, it'll help. And I can picture them correctly. All right. So all I want to do, we've got the bot the top seam going that way, the bottom seam going this way. I'm gonna butt them up against each other. It'll feel nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna put my needle in, my pin in on an angle. So that I can sew from here down, stop with my needle down right in the seam before I take my pin out. Beauteous. All right. I'm not going to worry about this scene just yet. So now I'm going to start sewing these together. And I'm just, there's nothing to line up yet. I'm just going to sew them all the way down, chain piecing them. Almost done with the body of the dog. Mm -hmm. 
We've been doing this quote long enough that you guys will get it, I'm sure. But as usual, oh, no needle became unthreaded again. If you have any questions at all, all you have to do is post them or ask me while I'm here, and I will answer them for you. I hope you guys have liked this quote because I really enjoyed this one. Who knows? Maybe I'll put this one on the long run and show you some videos. I would love to do that. I just have to, since I, most of my camera equipment's here, I'll have to set up my tablet or my phone for that part. Here we go. I always lay things down, back down, to make sure that I sew them in the right direction. Now, I learned that lesson a hard way. If you think you know, you're going to sew it in the wrong spot. Oh, come on. All right. Now I'm going to sew these two together. It's just like doing um um a puzzle. Uh, I think my brother machine is finally starting to kick the butt bit. It's temperamental. Okay. So now If I iron this one down, then I've got to iron this one there. All right, so let's start with this. Oops. That's why laying it down is important, especially if they don't tell you which way to iron your seams. It's going to be the only way you're not going to be re-ironing them in again in a different direction. All right. So I line that one down. I'm going to iron this one this way and this one this way. The others don't matter so much. This is a lot of little pieces here and there on this quilt. I used a lot of best parts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, 
I should be able to line up this seam at least and line up this seam maybe. I try to, and this one I'm going to iron that way real quick. I try to line up as many seams as possible because it, it will look much better in my opinion. But if you're not a perfectionist, don't worry about it. I think this is a great quote for honing your skills. You have plenty of opportunities to learn how to line your seams up and go one step at a time. Now, trying to sew and make sure I don't cut off my points so you don't want to go on the wrong side of your X. There we go. All right. So I've lined it, laid it back down. The only seam I have to worry about now is this one. There we go. And I'm just going to line it up and sew down. Right. This is the end. Hold on. Now I'm going to iron this seam down just because it's less bulky on this side. And when I start putting these together, I'll know where to iron these seams.
All right. Now we're going to start on. Sorry, the other half. So what I want to do is I'm going to sew these two half square triangles together first. I'm not going to worry about my seams yet as far as which side to to sew them on. And let's sew these two together. Okay. So right now, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna iron. Let's see this seam this way, and then sew these together. <laughs> when in doubt. I'll lay it back down to make sure that you don't do it wrong. Ask me how I know. Been there, done that. Okay. All right. Um, it doesn't matter whether I iron this one this way or this way. There's no other seam over here that's going to bother it. So I'm going to iron it this way because it's less bulky than trying to iron it this way. There we go. Now, I'm going to iron this one towards here. Again, just because it's less bulky. And then we can iron these together. I mean, sew these together. Almost done with this section. Not difficult. It's just like a little jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm not seeing there. I'm running into you. So this together. Not a lot of matching seams on this part. So I did a lot of ironing where it was less bulky.
All right. I'm going to iron the seam towards this part because, again, it's just going to help with bulk. We don't have to worry about lining any other seams up over there. We're almost done. So we're just going to iron. Uh, so this part to here. So this large part on. And then we've just got the two halves to sew together. So you guys got to think about it. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I did it last week. I forgot to show the hospice. And I'm thinking of... Sorry. Because I really don't want to do two quilts a week. Two videos a week. That's a lot. In the same day. Unless I come up with a different day to do it. Um... We'll see. We'll see. All right, and I'm just going to sew the other half to it. And then we're sewing the two big halves together. And I think we've got a little bit of seam matching lining up then. All right, I'm going to iron this seam towards this blank piece. Now I'm going to lay it down so we can see where we have to line up any seams. <clears throat> Whoops. This one. And that one's good. Okay. So I try to line up as many seams as possible. We want to have a lot of pins. Most of these seams we can line up. 
Don't go crazy once you've sewn it. If you have one seam out of place a little bit here and there, unless you want to. Um, but see, we're trying to line up right now all, as many of these seams as possible. Mine's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I want to get as good as possible. All right, well, let's see how good they did. I don't know. It's a lot of pins. I'm just going to just go slow. I'm just going to see what I do. Okay. Lots of fingers. Let's see how well I did. Wow. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Even if I do say so myself. I got one that's a little bit off, but I'm not enough for me to actually even worry about it. And this one I'm going to iron towards this part of the seam, but look, not too bad. I think we did pretty good. It's something to strive for. I mean, I'm a little bit off right here. I might actually go in and adjust this one right here because it's just me. But again, nothing is going to be perfect. You just got to strive the best you can. And each part you do, strive to get better. And just keep honing your skills. All right. That was section seven and section eight. I believe we have section nine next week. And we're going to start putting the sections together. I'm here if you need me. All you have to do is post a comment or question. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And have a great day. Thanks.